After 45 years, a literal legend is taken off the microphone. It's time for him to write a new chapter. News 19's Christine Killemeyer has the story with Jerry Hayes. So you're on the other side now for a change. I am and I am not very comfortable right now doing that. When Jerry Hayes first arrived at News 19 in 1979, Huntsville wasn't meant to be home. In all honesty, I plan to stay here a couple of years and then try to move back to Nashville uh, or go to a bigger market. But as time passed... Well, President Ronald Reagan's Marine Corps one touchdown about five minutes ago. He grew more comfortable in the Tennessee Valley. I had job offers. I had job inquiries that I could have taken and had shown some interest in. No, I stayed here and I planted my, my feet and, and my roots here. Anchored by his daughters, Lee and Megan. Well, now that the shuttle is cooking around the earth, it's time for all of you to share your cooking with the rest of us here in the Tennessee Valley. And while Jerry became a mainstay in our homes. All the times that I missed with them. As a dad, you know, I couldn't be there every time. He knows he wasn't always present for them. This business is tough on families. And I remember years ago when, when Lee was playing volleyball and Megan was cheering, I would take a half a day of vacation just so I could go watch them. <sighs> Not gonna have to do that with grandkids. And this is why, after 45 years, Jerry is ready to retire. It's a tiring business. And it, after a while, it weighs on you. His family is always close to his heart, literally. I want you to tell a story about your pocket square. I do it to honor my dad's memory. He wore one <laughs> every time he wore a suit. Bill Hayes had a white handkerchief in his coat. So that's why, uh, you know, I've got on his cufflinks today, you know. So, Dad died in 1988, and I knew how proud he and Mom were of me then. But I'd, I would love, <laughs> love to see what he would say now. 45 years in the same job. In the future, this uh, administration is committed to funding right now. Is it committed, say, next year, the following year? Absolutely. A job that gave him a front row seat. I feel passionately myself, as the, does the vice president. At the center of the fortress is the Cathedral of Peter and Paul. To history. Of Leningrad's most prominent landmarks. I hope just people realized how much I loved my job. Way to eat a strawberry. And that's one reason I've stayed in it as long as I have. So. Yeah, sure. Exactly, you're getting this. You're, you're going to be good. Telling your stories. That's what it's all about. When you make a difference and people recognize that, to me, that's bigger than any award you can get. But it's time to slow down. I'm not going to miss the day to day grind mm -hmm. and the, the speed at which you have to, to do things. But uh, sometimes that can be exciting, mm -hmm. and sometimes it, uh, it can be very. Uh, a heavy burden on you, mm -hmm. but uh, but yeah, I'm I'm going to miss the people around here more than anything. You have our numbers. I do. <laughs> you know we, you know where we, we live. I do, I do, <laughs> and, and we will be getting together. I guarantee you that. In Huntsville, Christine Killemeyer, News 19. Thank you, buddy. Love you, buddy. Love you too. Jerry's last day on the anchor desk is Tuesday. We hope you'll join us at 630 that night as we reflect on his impact and legacy in the Tennessee Valley. Jerry will also celebrate his 70th birthday Saturday, and then he will give away his youngest daughter, Megan, at her wedding in May.